There is perhaps nothing more heart-wrenching to a parent than the loss of a child. It is a common expectation that our offspring will grow and prosper in our sight and that we will shuffle off our own mortal coil well ahead of time. Sadly, this is often not how life's script plays out. Yet in the case of Chaz Richardson, the heartache and sadness for his family is compounded by the frustration of not even knowing if he is alive or dead. Since December of 2015, Leisha Wellington has been searching for answers concerning her son, Chaz Richardson. Richardson disappeared from his home in Surveyor, West Virginia on December 3rd of that year and has not been seen or heard from since. The circumstances surrounding his disappearance are both suspicious and confusing. Regrettably, Wellington has now stated that she accepts it is likely that her son is no longer alive. However, both Wellington, as well as Richardson's other friends and family members, want desperately to know what happened to him and who, if anyone, is responsible. In December of 2015, 27-year-old Chaz Richardson was a resident of Surveyor, West Virginia a small former mining community a few miles west of Beckley. Like many small towns in the area, Surveyor's heyday as a coal-producing community has long since passed into memory, leaving behind only rusting and crumbling relics that bear mute testimony to the legacy of King Cole. Today, Surveyor is a mostly quiet suburban and rural community. Hunting, fishing, and four-wheeling are common pastimes. Sadly, like many other small towns in rural West Virginia, Surveyor has not been untouched by the rising tide of opioid addiction and drug-related crimes, an area which once touted moonshine whiskey as its stereotypical vice is now better known for its rampant production and sale of methamphetamines, commonly referred to as hillbilly heroin. This highly addictive drug is widely blamed for the sharp increase in criminal activity in small rural towns like Surveyor, Eccles, and Leicester. Chaz Richardson was, like many, not immune to this cancerous trend, However, by 2015, Chaz was, by most accounts, attempting to get his life back on track. In spite of his battle with addiction, Chaz was, according to his friends and family, devoted to his two young children and their mother. The events leading up to Chaz's disappearance are not easy to reconstruct. Obviously fearful of compromising the investigation, detectives with the Raleigh County Sheriff's Department have been tight-lipped with regards to any discussion concerning this case. Much of the information that has been revealed over the last three-plus years has come from friends and family members of Chaz Richardson, who have been proactive in their own public investigation almost from the very outset. At the time of his disappearance, Chaz lived in this home at 6611 Griffith Hollow Road. The home is located along a roadway that is seldom used by non-area residents. The surrounding countryside is mostly wooded and pastoral, with widely scattered homes and farms. While many of the details concerning the events of December 3rd, 2015 remain in dispute, both Leisha Wellington and the Raleigh County Sheriff's Department agree that Chaz was at his home on Griffith Hollow Road and that four other persons were with him. The names of those known or suspected to have been at Chaz's home that day have never been made public. According to the Raleigh County Sheriff's Department, Chaz suffered a seizure 
possibly the result of a drug overdose, and passed out. Fearful for Chaz, one of those present called 911. A short time later, Chaz regained consciousness. When he was told that 911 has been called, it is reported that Chaz went into some sort of panic. He is said to have run from the scene and into the woods behind his home. This is the version of events which Raleigh County says was related to them by those who were with Chaz at the time. However, the exact scenario has become muddled over the intervening years. According to another version of this account, Chaz did not run into the woods behind his home, but was last seen entering a silver or gray Dodge Durango, which then drove out of the area. This version of events, reported by station WVNS in 2018, was said to have been captured on video surveillance footage. However, the location where the footage was obtained has not been revealed. As with so many aspects of this frustrating case, the sequence of events immediately following Chaz's disappearance are either not known or have not been made public. Following up on the original reported version of events, the woods behind Chaz's home were thoroughly searched by members of a local fire department. According to Alicia Wellington, this search took place roughly two weeks after Chaz was last known to have been seen alive. Chaz's own family joined in the efforts, both on foot and four-wheeled vehicles, and conducted an in-depth search of virtually all of Griffith Hollow. Wellington reported that they even went so far as to scale a rock wall in order to search the top of an abandoned railroad trestle. No trace of Chaz Richardson was ever found. To Wellington and others, this seemed very odd. Early on, law enforcement had theorized that Chaz may have run into the woods in a disoriented state and succumbed to hypothermia. The cold winter was setting in, and temperatures were already dropping into the teens during the nighttime. But if this was the case, and Chaz died in the woods, the chilled weather would have also slowed the process of decomposition. Also, during early December, several forms of hunting are still allowed in Raleigh County, so the wooded areas are seldom void of human activity, and yet, still, no sign of Chaz. Inevitably, fear and grief grew into frustration. Leisha Wellington and others close to Chaz converted his personal Facebook page into a missing persons hub. Wellington made no secret of the fact that she felt there was more to Chaz's disappearance than was being reported and encouraged anyone and everyone with potentially useful information to either report it to the authorities or post it to Chaz's page. The creation of this missing persons page is reported to have resulted in many derogatory and inflammatory comments concerning Chaz and his disappearance. As Chaz was of mixed race, the son of a black father and a Caucasian mother, an unfortunate number of trollish posts also found a home, however briefly, on the site. Direct criticism of the Raleigh County Sheriff's Department also became a common thread. Many allege that because Chaz was of mixed race, the authorities were not giving his case the attention that it deserved. On a positive note, the Facebook page did allow many to express their personal grief and sympathy for Chaz's family and what they were going through. It did not, however, seem to bring out any new or useful information as the days and weeks gradually turned into weeks and months. Both online and offline, rumors began to swirl around the small community. Most prevalent among them were whispers that Chaz had been murdered on the day he went missing and that his body had been not only hidden, but well hidden. Motives for the alleged killing ranged from greed to jealousy to a drug-induced slaying. Despite the omnipresent rumor mill, authorities reported that they had made little progress in the case. To many, it seemed as though Chaz Richardson had simply up and dropped off the face of the earth. As the first anniversary of Chaz's disappearance dawned, public awareness and interest in the case seemed to have waned. 
In order to keep the investigation warm and the memory of her son alive, Leisha Wellington organized a candlelight vigil to help remind the community that one of its own was still missing and that a killer or killers may still be at large. Um, the answer for this kind of stuff doesn't lie with the police. It lies with the community. It's us, up to us as the people to do something about it because this is us that it affects. It. Every year since, on the anniversary of Jazz's disappearance, the nighttime vigil has been repeated. In 2017, on Chaz Richardson's 28th birthday, another vigil was held. At the same time, Raleigh County Detective C.D. Suman told the Raleigh Register that the case was still being investigated and that the department was still following up on all leads that came in. Suman stated, quote, We are still working hard on this case, and we want answers like everyone else, end quote. He also urged anyone with information concerning Richardson's disappearance to contact the Raleigh County Sheriff's Department or make an anonymous tip via Crime Stoppers of West Virginia. Today, Wellington feels that she knows what happened to Chaz. She is also now convinced that her son was murdered on December 3, 2015, and she places the blame on the four unnamed individuals who were with him at the time. Family friend Brandy Stover echoed Wellington's opinion and added that she felt the crime was the result of drug use and jealousy. Stover went one step further and stated that she felt Chaz had been set up in some way. As the rumors fly and the investigation continues, one thing remains constant. Jazz Richardson is still missing, and if anyone knows why, they are not saying. To Alicia Wellington and Jazz Richardson's friends, both silence and time now seem to be their worst enemies. According to Raleigh County Sheriff Scott Van Meter, Richardson's case is still technically classified as a missing persons case. He does add, however, that the circumstances surrounding Richardson's disappearance are extremely suspicious, and authorities are therefore investigating the case as a likely homicide. They continue to urge anyone with information concerning either Richardson's whereabouts or the identity of his killers to contact either the Raleigh County Sheriff's Department or Crime Stoppers of West Virginia. A $10,000 reward is being offered for information in this case leading to either Richardson's discovery or the conviction of his killers. Chaz Alfred Richardson was last reported to have been seen in Surveyor, West Virginia on December 3, 2015, either at his home on Griffiths Hollow Road or at a location where a surveillance camera was present. Prior to his disappearance, Chaz Richardson may have suffered from a drug-induced seizure and run into the woods behind his home. Conversely, he may have gotten into a gray or silver Dodge Durango with persons unknown. Today, Chaz Richardson would be 30 years old. He is 5 feet 3 inches tall and at the time of his disappearance weighed between 155 and 160 pounds. He has a large scar on his left knee and tattoos on both arms, left wrist, chest, and stomach. When last seen, Richardson was wearing a black or dark blue hoodie, blue jeans, and red Jordan brand sneakers. Although many of the photos used in this feature depict Richardson with long hair and a beard, his hair was cut short at the time of his disappearance, and his beard had been shaved into a goatee with sideburns. Richardson's hair is brown in color. As they have never been located, it is believed that Chaz had his wallet and cell phone with him at the time he disappeared. There has been no activity on Chaz Richardson's cell phone since December 3, 2015. A $10,000 reward is being offered in this case. If you have any information concerning the disappearance of Chaz Richardson, please contact Detective C.D. Schumann with the Raleigh County Sheriff's Department at 304-255-9300 or Crime Stoppers of West Virginia 
at www.crimestopperswv.com. Thank you.